what's up y'all i'm just been crying um because i'm just so full of gratitude and i just love god so much um so i just wanted to do this quick video about loyalty because everybody preach about loyalty but it's like are you loyal to the one that truly matters which is god everybody preach about this loyalty but are you loyal to god Will you stand 10 toes down for God like you stand 10 toes down for your homies, your man, your husband, your wife, your your friends? Like, are you going to stand 10 toes down for, for God like you stand 10 toes down for them? Are you going to give God that same grace that you give them? As soon as God don't answer one of your prayers, when you want him to answer, are you going to turn your back on him and say F him and say he ain't real and say he ain't listening to you and say... Are you gonna give him are you gonna give him that same grace that you give that dude? Especially for the ladies. You forget the same trifling nigga a hundred times. Even though he say he gonna come through for this and he don't. One thing about God is when he say he gonna come through for you, he gonna come through for you. It might not be when you want it, but he's going to come through. But during that, that period of waiting. When he got you waiting, are you going to sit there and start trying to do it on your own, trying to figure out your own way? Or are you going to stand 10 toes down and believe that he really going to come back through for you? Are you going to, you know, are you going to curse him? Or are you going to ride for him? And you gonna, are you going to let the enemy get in your head and say, why are you worshiping him anyway? Why you love him? Why you why you keep seeking this man anyway? Why you keep seeking God anyway? Look what he do for you. Look at are you gonna let the enemy get in your head with all those thoughts? Because that's what he'll do. That's what he'll do. Are you gonna be like Job? Are you gonna stand ten toes down for God? Even when everybody trying to convince you that you being stupid. <laughs> when he take you and strip you from everything that you've had. Just so he can build you back up properly. Are you going to run with what the enemy trying to convince you that God not really for you? Are you going to run with that? Or are you going to stand 10 toes down for him? Are you going to ride for God like you ride for your friends? For the dudes and for the females. Well, for the women. I know some of y'all don't like being called females. <laughs> um... But for the ladies, when your girl, when your homegirl call you and tell you her nigga acting up or uh, one of these other women out here faking and, you know, I need some, come come through, let's get these, uh, uh, let's rag tag them and let's, yeah. Are you, are you going to ride for God like you ride for them girls and you ready to pick up and when they say, girl, come on, come ride out with me, let's go to the club. Let's go hit this lick for the dudes. Let's go hit this lick. Let's go do this. Let's go link up. And are you going to ride for God like you ride for them? When they when they say jump, you say how high. But when God say jump, you like, why you want me to jump that high? I ain't ready for that. Uh, are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? Be loyal to God, y'all. Like, you really got to ride for him. You got to stay down for him. It don't matter what it look like. It don't matter what it look like. Because God not no genie. He not here only just to give you a bunch of glitter and gold and sparkles and make it all beautiful for you. He needs you to learn the lessons and things. He needs you to learn to, to get real strength. He needs he will break you all the way down. He will break you down just to build you back up properly. Properly. A lot of times he allows a lot of things to happen for us to get to get to him. Like I tell y'all all the time, I didn't know. I didn't I wasn't raised on God. Like I wasn't taught God. I had to go through like a bunch of stuff. And sometimes I used to be like, dang, why I had to go through that? Why me? Why I had to, you know, lose my stuff? Like, why? It's people out here who it's people that don't really follow his ways. Like, but yeah, I'm over here cutting this out, cutting that out. I'm trying to really follow you. Say don't eat no shellfish. I'm trying to work on that. It's it's a little hard, but the other day I just threw the shrimp out, threw the scallops out. Like I didn't did fast, I didn't did this, I didn't did that. All within like a six months span of time, really 
the, the more I learn about God's ways and his laws and the more I read my Bible and I'm saying, oh, this is of God. This is not of God. I'm trying to I'm trying to get that stuff out of here. Yes, I still struggle with the cussing. Like, eventually that may come. But that's something I'm working on because cussing be making me feel good. I ain't even gonna lie. But I still... I'm a, I'm a work in progress. We all a work in progress. We're never going to be 100% perfect. But are, are you trying? Like, really trying? Are you really trying? Are you really trying to be loyal to him? And being loyal to him means having that integrity, not going against the grain. If you know that's something of the enemy, why would you go do that? If you know God said that we're not supposed to do that, why go do it intentionally? You know and you wouldn't want your friends to be disloyal to you. You want to prove that you a loyal friend to them. You want to prove that you a loyal spouse or, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You want to prove that you that person to this to them. Prove that to God. Because he the, he's the the top dog. He's the alpha, the omega. The beginning, the end, the first and the last. He's the one that truly has the most power. So why not be in alliance with him versus being in alliance with these other people who God see their true intentions anyway. Not to say that everybody around you is, you know, of course we're flawed, but not to say that they don't have your best interest at heart. But y'all already know a lot of times the people that we so in love with, that we so want to ride for and be ten toes down for, they end up back doing us and showing us why we should have never been loyal to them and trusted them and, and gave them so much of our time and wasted so many years with them in the first place. But yet, when it comes to God, we got all these questions. Why, why, how is that? But we don't sit here and question the, the motives of these people that come into our lives. We don't question our man, like, why this, why that? We might say why, but we still gonna stick beside him anyway. When God don't give you exactly what you want, are you still going to stick beside him anyway? If he don't give it to you when you want it, are you still going to stick beside him anyway? You know. And one thing about it that I've, I've learned on this journey is like, I'm loyal. I'm just so loyal that it's like, that's kind of been like my downfall. It's kind of, I'm loyal to these people who, not necessarily loyal to me. When given an opportunity to backdoor me, they'll backdoor you. They'll backdoor me. They'll 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 do some wild stuff to me. But yeah, I'd be like, nah, I can't do that to them. That that heart I have, like this heart that I have, this is why God chose me. This is why He called me, because He judged a man by his heart. He knows these people He know all of our heart. He know all of our heart. And sometimes we be thinking people for us, but God know his heart. God know her heart. That's why he like, nah, you got to get away from that person. You got to get away from that person. They say this out their mouth to you, but their heart, I see the heart. God see the heart. This is why he put separation in between us. Because he see that person's heart. He see their motives. He see what they really using you for. He see what they really around you for. And it ain't too to help you it ain't to prosper you it ain't to be on your team it's to really go against you or to really take from you so you just gotta really be careful with these people that you trying to be so loyal to that same loyalty you trying to give them the same secrets you trying to keep for them family members the same all of that says so do that with god do that for god you don't owe nobody nothing but god he will show you who you need to give all that extra time, love, and attention to. He'll show you that because he know they heart. And it don't matter if you come from they fan, that family with them. As we all know, majority of the time, our family be our worst enemy. They be your, your number one arch enemy, literally. They've been praying on your demise since day one. And you be like, oh, but that's my mama. That's That's my mama. That's just who she is. That's my daddy. That's just who she is. That's my brother. I love my brother. That's just who he is. You forgive them. You love them. But that don't mean you got to give them all of you. That don't mean you got to let them be energy vampires on you and sucking you dry for all that you had. 
you know, this ain't about to be no long video, but I just wanted to say, ride for God like you ride for all these other people. Because one thing about it, ride for them people, they'll shit on you. They'll shit on you when they get the chance to. God never going to do that. It don't matter if he take everything from you. He taking it from you to teach you something. He is the father of chastising. The same way we do our kids. You discipline your kids because you're trying to teach them something. You take this away from them so they can learn something. You making them do things that they don't want to do so they can learn something. God is doing the same thing to us. He's not trying to hurt you. But I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. A plans to prosper you. A plans to give you hope in the future. It's not to harm you. It's truly not. Like, trust in him. Be loyal to him. Even when your plan, if it's not going according to your plan, it doesn't matter about your plan. It matters what God's plans for you. Because he knew you. What he said in Jeremiah, for I knew you. When you was in the mama, I formed you in the mama belly. Before, when you was in your mama belly, I knew you. I knew you. And I ordained you to be prophets amongst the nations. He knew you. He called you here for this purpose. He called you here for a reason. He knew you before you knew you, before your mama knew you. He knew he created everything you was going to look like before your mama even get to, got to see what you look like. Before your daddy even got to see what you look like. He knew you. He had you. He been consecrated you. He been did that. He been did it. This is biblical. What I tell y'all the other day in that video about the Levites. Hey, he marked us from one month. Oh, he marked you. He marked you. And the enemy saw it. And the enemy is seeing everything. The enemy sees. He knows what, what God got for you. And this is why he do so much. He likes swiping the fox. He want to take it. He want to take it. As soon as he see you get ready to move on to that next step, he want to set you back. <laughs> I swear, it's just like, it's just like Dora the Explorer. How as soon as they about to finish their mission, they about to get what they was on a mission for, here comes Swiper, sneaky self. Swiper the Fox coming to snatch it. <laughs> and now he want to set you back. <laughs> set you back five steps. Now you got to go get it. Or you got to say your prayer. You see how they did their arm mugger? That's they, 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 uh, they um, endure the explore. They protection. Swipe, they had to say it certain certain amount of times. And this is actually... How it goes. These spells that the enemy do, they say stuff multiple times for it to make a, have a fact. <laughs> swiping, no swiping. Swiping, not, like the, the power that they had to say it three times for him to not do it. They said it one time, that wasn't good enough. And now that I'm learning about this, um, the the dark side of life, like, so we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual wickedness in high places in this world. This is all spiritual. It's a darkness to this world. It's a dark side and it's a light side. It's the battle of the light versus the dark. God is the light. The enemy is the dark. It's a battle. It's been a constant battle since the beginning of the time. It's going to be a constant battle for the remainder of life. It's going to be a constant battle. And one thing about it is you got to know how to rebuke the enemy. You got to know how to put your armor of God on like Dora and them did. If they put their armor of God on in time before he swiped their stuff, he won't be able to take their stuff. But if you were too, what Swiper used to say? You're too late. If you're too late, then you're going to get set back. If you're not keeping God, if you're not keeping your armor of God on, if you're not staying close with God, connected with God, if you're not staying loyal to God, if you're not staying prayed up with God, if you're not following God, because it's not just about being prayed up. It's about following what he tell us to do. It's about true obedience. True obedience. What I tell y'all in that video with the, um, the other day, I don't even know what it's titled, um, but I had that white shirt on. I forget what it was titled, but about the black sheep what i tell y'all in that video if the israelites 
never marked their house with blood, they would have died. If they did not do what God told them to do, he told them to kill that lamb and mark their house with the blood of the lamb. If they would not have done that, they would have all died right along with the Egyptian children, the firstborn of the Egyptians, the firstborn of all the Egyptian cattle. They would have died. This is the importance of obedience. This is why that's a celebration. You know, even with that, I got more videos coming about these. Like, I've been talking these holidays and stuff. That's, that's different. That's a whole different video. But it is important to be obedient. It is important to be loyal. Everybody preach loyalty. But are you loyal to God? Are you loyal to him? When faced with the, the, the opportunity to go against him, will you? When the enemy come in bribing you with, oh, here's a $50, 50 million dollar deal. Do this stuff. And you know that's an abomination to the Lord. Do this for $50 million. Are you going to do that? Or are you going to have some dignity and integrity about yourself and be like, nah, I know God don't want this of me. I know that's not of God. I don't care what the money look like. I don't care what the opportunity that the devil presented to me. I know what I'm not supposed to be doing. I know that that's not what God want. I know that, that if I do that with you, if I sign this deal with you, I know that that would be deeming me disloyal to God, my father, my leader, my protector. So would you, would you take the opportunity? Would you switch on him just for this temporary satisfaction would seem like it's a good deal? This is why oftentimes, I don't really want to go off, but oftentimes a lot of them rappers and people in the industry, because they don't realize that the entertainment industry is Satan's industry, and that's his thats his thing, music. He's the father of music. He's the father of all of that distraction stuff. That's why they get signed and trapped into these deals, because they let the money, they see the money. They don't see the, the fine print and what they're going to have to do. They don't understand the true contract that they're signing with this devil and one thing i realized god is about verbal agreements nowhere in that bible did they have to sign a contract paper to pen paper to pen is man that's a worldly thing that's something that man has created to bind people that's that's what satan believes in contracts signing contracts legally binding agreements on paper god was about verbal contracts that's why i say even with the marriage thing it wasn't in god's plan for it to be on paper about being married this is why oftentimes this is what holds people together because of the things that's going to happen because of the legally binding is that you sign when signing on the line or however you sign when getting married. Because with God, it's about a spiritual union coming together before him. It's a verbal agreement. His agreement that he made with Abraham was verbal. Verbal. The covenant with him, he comes into covenant with people. The, the, the devil believes in contracts. The enemy believes in contracts. God believes in covenants. And a covenant is just an agreement verbal agreement ain't no go get no pen right on this leaf right on this that's that's not god that's of the devil contracts and this is why when you get locked into these contracts this is why a lot of us fall into debt why we fall into um all of these things that we do and like i was saying with the marriages signing on these lines now you got the government in your business you got the government to tell you what to do with your marriage and now you got to go through all these stipulations just to leave this person if you want it was never meant to be like that when it's a spiritual connection with you and god and your partner you don't got all this fine print it ain't all this oh you take you take this is why I, people feel how they feel about marriage these days is because the enemy is now the enemy puts people together just as god put people together i know the scripture will god bring together let no man separate 
but also what the devil bring together god will separate because he ain't bringing that together he ain't bring it together and oftentimes the devil bring people together too especially when you don't got god no way in the marriage y'all don't even discuss god y'all don't even practice nothing that's of god how was how is that a covenant with god you signed a deal with the devil which is why you get in that demonic spouse that you're getting you signed a deal with the devil you didn't make a covenant with god god didn't bring you two together the enemy brought you two together and nine times out of ten when it's that type of relationship where the enemy brought you together, it was built on a faulty foundation. Anything built on a faulty foundation will not last, will not have longevity. Any house that's built on a faulty foundation, it's going to be lopsided. It's going to be cr cracks all coming through, allowing the pest and stuff from the outside to get in because it's cracks in the foundation. It's not solid. It's not steady. You have to build a house on the right foundation. And if it ain't built on the right, the right foundation, if you marry a man or marry a woman, you know she still got these um, ties to a person from the past and all, that ain't building it on the right foundation. And God didn't bring you two together. God didn't bring you to be married to no other woman's husband. God didn't bring you to be marrying to no woman that you see right now is still married and cheating on her husband with you. That's the enemy bringing that together. If it start messy, it's going to finish messy. That's just how it works. But the enemy gets you to sign these contracts, and now you're signing your life away, selling your soul in these marriages, selling your soul. Selling your soul because you feel like, oh, I, I, I'm, I made this covenant. I made this uh, covenant with God. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You made a deal with the devil. You made a deal with the devil. You didn't make it a covenant with God. Because I didn't see not one person say that they went to the tabernacle and signed no dang on paperwork paperwork was man-made because we know man made paper that's why the value of the u.s dollar, we didn't even get to talk about that that's why this dollar about to crash the u.s because the paper is, is nothing the paper ain't no real asset it's not no real um it's not a value it's not a value because something that is a value is not easily accessible it's not easy for everyone to obtain it it's not easy to go and get it the work that they have to do to get the natural gold and stuff from the land that's harder to do than it is for them to go cut out some trees and process the trees into paper that's why the big dollar the u.s dollar has no real value it has no real value it's just paper. Um, I don't even know how I got to talk about that. One thing about it is my stuff go. I'll be talking about this and then go on into that. But all in all, when God is for you, who can be against you? And when you against God, just know He He ain't gonna be for you either. It's like nah, but he going to give you grace. But you got to prove to him. You got to prove to him. You be trying to prove to that man that you the one, you should be the you should be the one he choose. You try to pull out all your best tricks on him. Making sure you do all the sex tricks and making sure you do the cooking and the go get your body done and do all of this and take this and take that from him to prove that you the one. Prove to God that you the one. Prove to God that he can trust you with the things that you're even asking him for. Prove to him that he can trust you with these things. You have to prove it. Same with the guys. You know. Prove to him. You got to prove it to him too. Prove to him that you're worthy of whatever it is that you're asking him for. We be asking him for millions of dollars, money. We be asking him for... I need the baddest. I need a woman that do this, do that. Prove that you're worthy of that. Prove that you can properly lead his 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 daughter that he sends you. Prove to him that you can do that. By showing him that you can submit to him. Because that's a lot of these guys' problem. They don't know that they need to still submit to God. Um, 
I don't even know what time it is. But all in all, you guys, be loyal to the one that really matters. And it's God. If you prove that you can be loyal to God first, he going to equip you with everything else you need. He's going to show you the fleshly made person that you truly need to be being loyal to. Because a lot of times we loyal to all the wrong people. We loyal to all the wrong people. Then wonder why our hearts stay broke. Why we stay feeling down, depressed, and all of this. Because we didn't try to be loyal to people who don't give a damn about us. Um, but that's my little memo. That's my little message. I was just crying here because I'm just so, so happy. Like, I I cry when I'm happy because I just can't believe all that God has done and is doing for me. I just can't believe the power of God, you know, because I wasn't raised on this and taught God. So now that I'm experience, experiencing all these things that I've experienced within this past year, almost year, so I moved to Texas February 28th. And that's when my journey began. But really, I ain't really touched the real spiritual level of this until around September. Till around September, August, around August, September of 2022. So it's just like, wow, look what he can do for you. Look what he can do for you. It's just like, wow. And one thing about it is, yes, I had my period where I was like, oh, what is this? But even when I wanted to move back to Maryland, go against what I know God told me to do, I booked that flight that day. I was like, I'm over this. I'm tired of being homeless living in this hotel now i'm running out of money i can't even stay in the hotel no more i'm about to go back to a shelter all of this but because because i'm so loyal because i know god by this point i had knew god much more than i did before i knew him i really knew him so it's like because i know him and because I get, he convicts my spirit. Like, when you really build this relationship like this, it's like, you know when you ain't supposed to be doing something because he really going to convict you. Like, it's just that 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 sub, that consciousness. It's like, you feel it. And I booked the flight because I was just like, mm, I'm just going back. I'm going to go back to Maryland, get my hustle back on. Like, I know how to do this. I know how to do that in Maryland. Like, I'm still got all my certifications in Maryland. I still got my notary. I still got all my stuff to make my money. Still got all this stuff to do. I still know. I know exactly where to go to get me this, to start flipping, to make my money. I know exactly what to do. I booked that flight. And then I felt bad about it. <laughs> And then I got this video to say, don't let the devil trick you out your spot. That was one of the prophetic word girls. She posted a video to say, don't let the devil trick you out your spot. It was right on time. But I felt convicted in my spirit anyway. I was like, I ain't going through with this. I know I don't want to go back. I, I want to go back, but I don't really want to even go back there. Like, I don't want to go back there. So what are you doing, Tania? I was like, what are you doing, bruh? And luckily, they gave me a refund for my uh for my flight. I was like, I told my daughter, I was like, nah, I say we staying here. We staying here. We we staying here. We're not going back. And I'm just so glad. But I have gotten mad at God, and I still, you know, get mad sometimes. But now, but overall, I get over it, and I still stay prayed up, and I still keep the faith. And I still just know that, girl, once again, because it's hard. Sometimes we start our flesh want to start taking the lead. And I be having to, like, become less of my flesh where I want to take control and dominate and do what I want to do. Like, that's a constant fight that I even battle because I'm so used to, like, since young, I had to do that, do that, enroll myself for school, do that, do that. Figure out how to eat. Figure out how to make my money. Figure out this. Do this. Plan for everything. So sometimes it still be hard, but I'm so much more better where I just can chill and just lay back and let God do it. I just be like, whatever. Like, like, if I don't know how to submit to nobody, I don't know how to submit to God. 
because I trust him. He's shown me that I can trust him. Because one thing I say about this relationship thing with him, it's equal give and take. He want to know he can trust you. And you want to know that you can trust him. And I fully trust him. That, that mustard seed of faith has now turned into a big avocado seed. <laughs> a big mango seed. Y'all know them seeds and those things be big. <laughs> It's huge. Like, I, I fully trust him. So, it's like I can chill. I can really chill and just lay back and let him do his thing. And do what I'm supposed to do. Do my part. And I just let him do his thing. I trust that he got it. And he do. He's shown me. Like, he's shown me. And one day, one day I'm going to be able to really tell y'all everything. Like, but it just feels good to know that you can trust somebody in a world full of lies deceit greed envy hating bs like it just feel good to know that you can truly trust somebody and i know god feels good that he can trust me he loves that he can trust me he trusts me he really trusts me this is why he put me in this position that's why i still be like oh you call me like you want me to preach this gospel stuff to these people, my little ratchet self. But he trusts me. He ain't worried about that stuff. Other people worried about, oh, how you talk, what you eating, what this. Like, people in the comments be worried about all the wrong stuff, like I've been saying for months. They be worried about all the wrong stuff. But God ain't worried about that. Like I said, he judged the heart. And he judges the heart. <laughs> he judges the integrity about you. He know that you can't bribe me with any other thing. I'ma just go for it. He know that you can't wave, waver fifty million in front of my face, and I'ma just go for it if it's gonna cause me to go against my integrity, my principles, morals, and values. Like if I'm gonna have to demean myself for that, if I'm gonna have to do stuff that really go against what I know my spirit don't sit right with just for some money. He knows that. That's why he can trust me. I'm not just. I don't just go with anybody, Flo. I don't. So he can trust me. He wants to know that he can trust you. Can he trust you? It's a it's a relationship. Just like your relationship with your partners. Y'all want to both know that you guys can trust each other so that you can build together. That's how I feel like it is with me and God. Like, with me and God, we got great things coming. And to that girl, I hold on so much to. And also, the, the other thing that kept me going throughout this journey, one of the one of the girls, I like, I gotta go find that video with that girl said to me in my comments that day that your purpose is big. I hold on to that, and because now I know what I now know what my purpose is, and I know it's big. I know me and God to get. We got we got a. a a mission God is using me we in a team we in an alliance to take down the kingdom of darkness <laughs> so I now know how big my purpose is and baby as long as God got my back I'm I'm ready I, he already know I'm TTG I'm ready to go to war against whoever as long as I, I know God got my back he could throw me in the lines then and I know I'm gonna come out Flawless, untouched, untouched. Like, one day I'll be able to really tell y'all some stuff about this thing, but I know he don't want me saying it yet. Like, I'll be able to tell y'all maybe in a couple years, probably. But I got to tell y'all some stuff. And I tell y'all, like, he really got my back. <laughs> he really got my back. <laughs> and it's like, it's just crazy. It's crazy, but it's loyalty. I'm loyal to him, and he loyal to me. Like, he loyal to me. And just because you loyal to somebody don't mean you just a yes man for him. He ain't just no yes man. If he know it's something that's not, mm, nah, I got something better for you. I'm not letting you do that. Even if I think I want that, and he don't, he know it's something up with that. And even if I get mad a little bit, like, oh, I want that. And he like, no, like, he ain't just no yes man to me. Like, you know. Because he know the plans he had. He know the plans he had for you. So. But yeah, y'all. 
I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go drink me some Fiji. Even with them, I keep saying they want them to sponsor me, but you know, I know what I know. They probably the ops too, but I still like their water. So we'll see. <laughs> they do need to sponsor me. I drink a lot of Fiji. I love Fiji water. Um, but I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm about to just look out the window. I'm about to go outside. I feel good outside. I'm about to just go for a walk. I stay outside. It feel, it's been feeling good these past couple of days. So I just be outside. I just love getting outside. I'm going to go sit outside. So I'll see y'all in the next video. This is... <laughs>